Hello and welcome again. So today I want to get into showing you how to customize your Obsidian client. Obsidian does have a plugin that allows you to customize the look and feel of the, the client here, however you like. If you want to customize what this looks like, we would go into, typically you'd go into the default area and you might want to change it from either dark mode to the light mode. But if we go into the plugin, we get custom, the ability to customize a CSS file that gets created. And um, you can get a lot, a lot more granular on how you make, have the look and feel. So if we turn this on, what, what will happen is that underneath this plugins area, you'll see a configuration uh, piece for that plugin that's called community themes. And there are some pre-built themes that are out there that you can use. So if we go through these here, let me see if I pick one. Here's one that's pretty cool here. We can preview it. You can see this is a Christmassy theme. And if we go ahead and we use it, what happens is it creates the, uh, the obsidian.css file, which you'll see here in the root of your obsidian vault. Now this file can be edited directly using the text editor. So if we open this, let me see which one do I have here, and sublime text here. You have a lot of the different uh, theming um, options within this file. And if you want to do this a little bit live, what you can do is, let's go ahead and close this. We still have the theme applied. And if we hit the hotkeys and open up the developer window, we can go down to the themes area and you can see all the settings that are set for the themes. And then you can go in here and you can modify these appropriately if you want to have maybe a lighter, darker, or even a completely different color for these areas. You can go ahead and see what these, these uh, the numbers are, the color codes, and you can add those to that Obsidian CSS file and have that saved. So it's that straightforward. And if you want to remove the thing, all you need to do is go into the plugins, remove the, or disable the plugin itself. And the thing goes back to one of the, the defaults that are underneath the appearance, either the, the light or dark. Now you'll still have the Obsidian CSS file. So when you turn that plugin on, it will use the file and whatever the last theme, theme and options that you had configured in this file. Well, that is all for today. I'd like to thank you for watching the video. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe to the channel and have a good day.